Welcome back. This is supposed to be the week of Rag Pride. Teams will be making their third stop on the seven-day journey across the state of Iowa. Instead, Rag Pride was postponed here in 2020. Still, teams are finding a way to make it feel as normal as possible, even with the official Rag Pride race on hold. I think it was kind of expected because at that point you kind of knew that, that it was uh, uh, an issue with the pandemic, you know, with the COVID-19 and, you know, we weren't going to be able to, you know, probably do this. Team Love Shack started in 2008 with a couple of cousins, friends and a small trailer. Well, we'll call it the Love Shack because there wasn't room for anybody and it has literally grown from the, the four of us to however many there is right now. An incredible team of yep, great people to ride with. So they decided to still find a way to enjoy their favorite parts of Rag Bright while staying safe. You know, we kind of decided that we needed to do something as a team. A lot of people had this, you know, this time off and uh, we wanted to get some bike riding in and, you know, decided that, hey, we're going to try to just do our own thing. So with no ride across Iowa, they are riding the trails. Um, <laughs> and, and like I say, we take frequent stops and there's riders that are fast riders, there's riders that are slow riders, but they'll stop and then we just kind of get together again and, and it, there's a lot more chatting and, and uh, just hanging. What Team Love Shack has learned in the last 12 years of RAGBRAI, the riding is great. To have RAGBRAI canceled and then for us to all gather from all over meant a lot to us. Whether it was to ride trails today, yeah. all week was something for us. But it's the people that make the memories. That's what it's all about. I mean, I think that's what, what, it's a, what RAGBRAI is about, you know, is when you are, uh, you know, out there and just hanging out with your team, you know, and then you also get other teams that you get involved with too. Like we're friends with a lot of other teams. Um, I think you miss that a little bit, but it's really important to get together as a group. It's the camaraderie of the team, and uh, we there there wouldn't have to be necessarily a rag bright. We could still get together and have a great time. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just kind of that uh, cleansing palette. I mean, it's. That's what we felt was important. The team started in Carroll, then today they rode the High Trestle Trail, and then it'll be the Chautauqua Valley Trail tomorrow.